welcome to the llama and cacti pop-up card tutorial so firstly what you need to do is to take two pieces of card and for this example I've chosen a dark and a light blue and I fold them both in half you can use a ruler to help put pressure on the fold of the card so it is neat as you can see that I've cut the card so there is a nice border of the dark blue. So, for the main subject, I've sketched out a rather dubious llama drawing on a light pink piece of card, which I'm now going to cut out. And once I've done this, I'm going to, just for ease, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a small incision between the llama legs so you can see the four legs, otherwise it will look like the llama has tree trunks for legs. And here, it's probably best to use a craft knife rather than scissors and also have a cutting mat. Now, without stating the obvious, when you cut, you should always make sure that your fingers are not in the direct line of the moving knife. I use some scissors to make some additional amends to the shape of the llama legs. Just to style our llama out, I'm adding a cute little lilac blanket uh, to keep the llama warm. And that's making sure that I stick it down, it's also aligned to the shape of the back. Now, apologies for this, um, these are some rather shocking facial features that I'm drawing on. Just in case it isn't obvious, uh, the aim was to draw some eyes, a nose and a mouth. Um, I sketched it out alright and then obviously didn't follow my sketch and gave the llama some sunglass eyes. Anyway, you get what I'm trying to achieve here. So, previously I'd used some cacti to cut out to create my llama themed card. And sadly, calamity struck as I broke off the arm of the cactus by trying to remove the pencil line with my aggressive rubbing. I've stuck the cactus together and moved on to the next one. So, now I'll take the inner piece of the card, in this case it's a light blue, and draw three lines around two centimetres between each other. This needs to be on the fold side. Now I'm thinking of the positioning of all of the elements. As you can see, I've cut out some simple triangles to represent mountains, and I've marked six places on different lines. And cut two parallel incisions up to that mark. Repeat this for all crosses that you've marked. Now open the card and pull out each of the incision. This is going to be a little bit fiddly, but once you've got the hang of it, it should be easy. Now it's up to you where you position your pieces of cards. It's better to start with those at the back and then work forward. Take each cutout, so the mountains or the cacti, and glue each onto the pop-up. it is important to ensure that everything can be seen. Now the last piece of the puzzle is to glue our dear old llama on. Perfect, there we go. Now I glue the light blue card to the darker blue card and press firmly so it's neatly stuck down. So there you go, that's the llama card. I hope you liked the card tutorial and thanks very much for watching.